a magnitude 4.5 earthquake beneath Mauna Kea's northwest flank shook Hawaii Island on Sunday morning. The U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says the earthquake was centered about 13 miles southeast of Waimea, at a depth of 14 miles. Moderate shaking has been reported. However, damage to buildings or structures is not expected. This radio message was issued by the Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency on Sunday morning. The earthquake was not large enough to cause a tsunami. I say again, there is no tsunami threat to the island of Hawaii. As in all earthquakes, be aware of possible aftershocks. If the earthquake was strongly felt in your area, precautionary checks should be made of any damages, especially structural and to utility connections of gas, water, and electricity. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. The USGS says it received hundreds of felt reports within hours of the earthquake. According to HVL acting scientist in charge David Phillips, this earthquake is not related to volcanic activity. He says data streams show no impact on Mauna Loa or Kilauea volcanoes at this time. The eruption of Kilauea continues with all recent activity confined to the summit crater and with no indications of activity migrating elsewhere. The U.S. Geological Survey says the region surrounding Mauna Kea's summit has persistent deep earthquake activity with over 30 earthquakes located at depths greater than 20 kilometers every year. These earthquakes are typically small. They say the northwest flank of Mauna Kea has experienced only nine earthquakes greater than magnitude 4.0 within the past 60 years. Scientists say deep earthquakes in this region are most likely caused by the structural adjustment of the Earth's crust due to the heavy load of Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea is the tallest mountain on Earth if measured from its base on the ocean floor. It is a shield volcano in the post-shield stage. Scientists say it last erupted about 4,600 years ago.